All right, we're going to be talking today about how to factor trinomials in a specific form. So when trinomials come in the form of x squared plus something times x plus something, so the b and the c represent numbers, so anytime they're in the form of x squared plus something times x plus something, I can factor it in a special way. So the way that I factor these is I ask two questions uh, about the numbers. I ask, first of all, what two numbers multiply to equal the last term and then add together to equal the middle term? So anytime I factor these, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off writing two parentheses. Make sure there's nothing between because these two are being multiplied by each other. So I have two parentheses. And then I'm going to start off by using whatever letter is being squared. I'm going to write that letter once at the beginning of each parentheses. Finally, I'm going to use these two steps and I'm going to ask myself what two numbers multiply together equals 6. So my factors of 6 would be 6 times 1 or 2 times 3. And then add together to equal negative 5. Now anytime I have a different sign, negative 5 and positive 6, I can follow these steps. I'm going to go through these really quickly. You probably won't understand them completely the first time, but as I go through the examples, hopefully they'll make a lot more sense. You might want to just write them down, pause the video and write these down. One, if both of my terms are positive, then both of the inside will also be positive. If they're both negative, then the bigger term will be negative and the smaller term will be positive. If the middle is positive and the last is negative, then the bigger number inside will be positive and the smaller one will be negative. If the middle is negative and the last is positive, like here, that means they're both going to be negative. So since my middle is negative, my last is positive, I know both of the terms inside are going to be negative. So if both of these are negative, of these two, which ones are going to add up to equal negative 5? Does negative 6 and negative 1 add up to equal negative 5? No. Does negative 2 and negative 3 add up to negative 5? Yes. So guess what? That is my answer. That's all I have to do. I can check it. Does negative 2 times negative 3 equal positive 6? Yep. Does negative 2 plus negative 3 equal negative 5? Yes. So I did it correctly. Let's try this next one. Again, first step, always parentheses. Take my letter that's being squared, put that once in each uh, parenthesis. Now I'm going to look at my signs. My middle is positive, my last is negative. Middle is positive, last is negative. That means the bigger factor will be positive and the smaller factor will be negative. So I'm going to go ahead and do one positive and one negative. Again, this is the same last number, so I can use these two. So if the bigger one is positive and the smaller one is negative, does 3 minus 2 equal 5? No. Does 6 minus 1 equal 5? Yes. So I use that, and that's my answer. 6 times negative 1 equals negative 6. 6 minus 1 equals 5. Next, I have x squared plus x minus 72. So again, start off with parentheses. I'm using x this time, so I'm going to put x at the beginning. The middle is positive, the last is negative, so I know the bigger number is positive. The last one is, uh, the smaller number is going to be negative. Now I have to think through my factors of 72. What numbers multiply together to equal 72? Well, probably one of the first things you think of when you think of 72 is 8 and 9. 8 times 9 equals 72. So, my bigger number is 9, that's positive, my smaller number is 8. Does 9 minus 8 equal, well, what number is here? If there's no number, it's 1. Does 9 minus 8 equal 1? Yes, it does. 9 times negative 8 equals 72. So this is my answer. So notice every time what we're doing is we're saying what two numbers multiply together to equal my last number. So I'm finding the factors for my last number. And then of those factors, which two add together to equal my middle number. Paying attention to the signs using these rules here. Let's look at the next one. Again,